All right, I guess this is sort of a follow-up on the uh, video I did about Disney uh, and their uh, diversity divisions and <laughs> their strategy for diversity and all that stuff and um, where it leads. So uh, apparently uh, author Nick Cole had uh, tweeted uh, that a major studio told him uh, they wouldn't produce content for white Christian trash. <laughs> and I totally believe this quote. Boy, it does fit in with uh, what was said earlier about, uh, oh, what was her name, Miss Walden. Uh, and uh, he tweeted this, this is also, but then there's this correction here uh, on uh, Bounding in the Comics. So let me go to the original tweet here um, that uh, responded to uh, Dana Walden talking about she's so proud that we refused a really great script, but it was about a white family, ew. And so that's what he said. So he said uh, can confirm was told regarding a project I helped conceive we wouldn't produce content for white Christian trash. Uh, there was nothing white or Christian in the military sci-fi uh, opera script we were pitching. The turd was referring to our audience. <laughs> uh, so this was part of a, a thread that was responding to Walden on Twitter about uh, the uh, environment there. Uh, then he uh, says, Hollywood is a place filled with the worst people who somehow think they hold the moral high ground about what gets made while yeah, raping girls and molesting small children. If Hollywood were a person, you wouldn't let them sit on your couch. <laughs> uh, your life would be a lot better and fuller if you stopped watching movies made by deviants and drug addicts. <laughs> Good God. You'd be smarter, thinner, <laughs> and richer, and your children wouldn't be destroyed. Seriously, yeah. Uh, so, okay, so that's it. Uh, he's worked in that world. Yeah, he's pissed off and whatnot. But uh, it lines up with the uh, the proud and out strategy, you know, of, of, of the pursuit of diversity, apparently. Uh, and so he issued uh, a clarification. Also, to clarify, uh, as there's been some confusion, <laughs> I did not name the studio that called our audience White Christian Trash. It's a major studio, but I am not naming it as at this time, and I'm not implying on this thread that it is either Disney or ABC. Oh, wow. Well, um, it was in response to a Disney executive, so... <laughs> Uh, but, uh, there is a certain sci-fi company that Disney owns now. <laughs> I don't know that, I mean, I guess it's referring to his own stuff. I don't know. But Galaxy's Edge, Galactic Outlaws, uh, he wrote that, you know, uh, was this supposed to be a Star Wars project that he pitched? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but hey, it wasn't ABC or Disney overall. <laughs> So I don't know, but uh, Disney's not alone in this. Uh, the woke cult, for whatever reason, a lot of it is just as cover and shielding for a lackluster product and say, well, they didn't like it because they're all racist and misogynist and whatnot, and uh, we don't need to cater to that crap. And, uh, oh, yeah, 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 uh, because uh, Hollywood is a nasty, bigoted place, and uh, they think uh, they're, they have the high ground. And because they told themselves they do. So, you know, that kind of thing. And, uh, but ultimately, uh, this doesn't end well. And it doesn't, and, and ironically enough, it doesn't serve uh, the people that they think it does. Um, you know, you, you, and a lot of it uh, is con artists uh, posing as, uh, you know, uh, activists for whatever movement uh, an issue. And they get these uh, six-figure income positions within these companies <laughs> uh, to provide that shield. Uh, and all it does is uh, it, it completely uh, crushes the creative process. There's no uh, freedom. Everybody's terrified of one another uh, for being canceled and whatnot. And uh, it, 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 it doesn't go away either, no matter how much you give into it or how much you feed it or whatever. Uh, case in point... <laughs> What's happened here over the BBC uh, for Idris Elba? And he's responded uh, somewhat to this, of so the BBC diversity chief. Yeah, well, that's a great position, huh? Who uh, recently stated that uh, Idris Elba wasn't authentically black. 
He's, you're not black anymore, Idris. Uh, so, of course, he uh, broke out, and uh, his big success was the character of Luther, the detective series that he did. And everyone was proud of it. And he says, hey, doesn't that satisfy uh, the, the, what, what the, uh, the diversity cult uh, 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 wants? Well, it was never about that. Uh, so it's all this stuff about, and it keeps coming back uh, to him in particular, about him being the, uh, the black James Bond. Uh, I, I don't know if, I'm, I think a few people thought he might uh, have been, made a good black Doctor Who, and he probably would have. <laughs> but <laughs> don't know if he would take it at this point, because they just keep making a big deal about his skin. They never treat him as his own man. And uh, it's I, I think it's pissing him off. <laughs> cool. um, and so he went on Instagram and says we must pull ourselves we must not pull ourselves backward, only push ourselves forward because a lot of this diversity stuff just ends up uh, just being another form of racism. It's racism it comes in the form of uh, you, you you fight racism by being uh, uh, more racist. <laughs> He says, yeah, but I'm just uh, knocking down white people. Yeah, you know, because they're white. So, yeah, and it's not doing much good. Uh, and here's Idris, who you would have, uh, I'm sure, did praise back then. But now, well, he's not good enough. Why is that? Well, you see, diversity chief here has a problem. And it's the same problem that uh, professional activists have, is what I call you know, like, <laughs> Activism is always a necessary means. You know, you have a right to assimilate and to petition your government. Uh, you need stuff like that uh, to be a free uh, society that uh, supports liberty and all that. But the professional activist, uh, once the cause is over, oh boy, then they have to go back and get a real job and live their life. And oh, oh. <laughs> especially when activism can be so lucrative in some cases. So, um, uh, 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 Miranda, I believe her name. Yeah, Miranda Wayland. Uh, she gets this position here, but what if it's all achieved? You know, you, you, you've got a great program like Luther. You know, that's success. Oh, good Lord, success is terrible. Uh, because then why do we need her position anymore? <laughs> so she's got to point out how, uh, Hey, he's not really black because he didn't eat Caribbean f f uh, food and didn't have enough black friends within the show. <laughs> and, and so, oh, you can't, you can't be proud of this show. It's actually really, really bad and toxic now and should be canceled. <laughs> well, she didn't say that, but it's the, she's making, trying to maintain her position uh, that it's vital and that it, 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 don't be proud of that Luther show. Uh, it's not good enough. Um, so, yeah. I mean, just the massive insult to uh, Mr. Elba here. And uh, he's got to be sick and tired of this crap. Because <laughs> it's always like uh, uh, he's, his uh, value as a black actor in a lot of this diversity stuff is only as good as if he can be used to re replace a, a, a traditionally white character, you know, like James Bond and stuff like that. And uh, that's his only value. You know, here's his uh, one of his big uh, wins, uh, the character he made in uh, the detective series, and uh, it gets trashed by the diversity cult uh, because it's a problem because he's successful. He was good. Uh, people loved the show. It was great. Uh-oh. Sounds like we don't really have a white supremacist problem, do we? <laughs> so that's what happens. That's the ultimate outcome of this. Because um, she's worried about her, and uh, what what what's her job? Well, she's diversity chief. <laughs> she's she, her job becomes meaningless when a diversity is achieved, isn't it? That's yeah. So yeah, so even when you do it, oh boy, still got to get canceled in some form or fashion. So he gets insulted, and it is an insult, and uh, and and he's right. I mean, why can't we go forward? Well, we can't go forward because positions like this would cease to uh, be necessary. Or not that they ever really were, but, uh, we, we, you know, that's that's a problem. That's it. For the professional activist, victory is bad news because then the cause is over and you got to go live your life and get a real job. Yeah, yeah. Like the rest of us. Oh, we don't want that. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, there you are. That's uh, that's what happens to your your studio 
uh, and uh, your, your uh, a company, uh, when you pursue this cult, uh, you, you, you can never satiate it. You can never feed it completely. <laughs> Because it's gonna want more. Because it's it's an extortion racket, you know. <laughs> you can't. There's not. There's there is no one payment. No, it goes on forever until you know you collapse into ruin. Thanks for watching and listening. Say while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get T-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies. With my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Joe, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.